This is Mike Neerman, a Republican member of the Oregon House who represents parts of Yamhill, Polk, and Benton counties. And this is Neerman exiting the state capitol through a side door, leaving it open long enough for conservative protesters to get inside. It happened last December 21st, a tumultuous day in Salem. People, some carrying firearms and bear spray, converged on the Capitol during a one-day special session. Lawmakers were inside to deal with the very issue that had the Capitol closed to the public, the pandemic. The group smashed windows and mixed it up with law enforcement. Neerman is charged with two misdemeanors that could get him jail time, official misconduct and criminal trespass for allowing the chaos inside. The charges were accepted by a Marion County judge Tuesday morning, with Neerman's attorney handling the brief arraignment hearing. Last week on conservative talker Lars Larson's radio show, Neerman wouldn't discuss specifics of the case, but did say this. The two things that I've been charged with, neither one of them's a felony, Lars. They're, they're uh, misdemeanors. And this, the Oregon State Police spent uh, over four months investigating me. And... So, I don't know, I, do, they, do you think these guys have anything better to do? Representative Neerman also disclosed he was suffering from a bad case of the coronavirus. Let me start off by saying that I, I hope that Mike Neerman recovers from his bout with COVID. I understand it's serious. KGW uh, political so analyst Len Bergstein is sorry about the illness, but has no empathy for what he sees as a right-wing assault on public institutions, including in Salem. Politicians feel like it. more important work is done outside the Capitol stirring up the politics of outrage than doing the hard work of passing laws and policies inside the Capitol. So I think the Nearman situation stands for the notion that you'd rather kind of go outside and kind of like stir it up. Stripped of his committee seats by Democrat leadership and with many calls that he resign, Nearman says he won't. His supporters showed up outside the court building on Tuesday. They claim the U.S. and Oregon constitutions say Nearman did nothing wrong. So the reason we're here is to support a representative of We the People who tried to give us access to the legislative process. Tim Gordon, KGW News.